Hi, it's Julian Meller, Positive Impact Golf Coach. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you enjoy your golf swing? Seems such a simple question, but I'm going to say the answer to it is probably, in many cases, is no. Um, so my next question is, what would you have to do to enjoy your golf swing? What's going to make golf more enjoyable for you? And this is such a powerful question to ask yourself. Um, when I discovered positive impact coaching, I had no idea, I had no understanding of tension. And tension in the muscles are the number one enemy of the golf swing. They create the most errors in golf swing and people are not even aware of it. In my case, I built up tension on purpose, thinking it was a good thing. I was trying to build lower body resistance with upper body coil, thinking this was a good thing. But inevitably, I was in pain with it. My left knee was in real agony after just a few shots. And I miss it a lot of golf shots, thinking it was purely down to technical errors within my golf swing. But what uh, what well, actually what I didn't understand was how muscles worked most effectively. Uh, they need to be relaxed, long and elastic, not short and tight and restricted. So being aware of tension is such a massive thing for golfers. I can't overemphasize it enough. So when was the last time you made a swing or even a practice swing and you really were caught in the moment you were really understanding what was happening and it became enjoyable um, so often it's all about trying to piece a golf swing together oh, I've got this position absolutely spot-on today and I hit it fantastic but when was the last time you really enjoyed your golf swing uh, and for those who struggle with their chipping and their putting when was the last time you enjoyed a chipping action or a putting stroke what do you have to do to make it enjoyable? That's a question I can't really answer today um, because it needs to come from within. Uh, and this self-awareness and this mindfulness about you and your, your actions are so important and never really spoken about. Um, you'll go on, you'll be on YouTube now and you'll go on to the next video, the next one searching for the next position, the next secret move. But actually, you've already got it within you. you. We're all capable of doing things very well and very naturally. Just think of the art of throwing something. If you, if you pull that apart, it's actually quite a complex action. Everything's got to be moving at the right time. You've got to have the right grip pressure. You've got to release it at the right speed to send it the, the correct distance. And yet we can do that very naturally. If we think about turning, people say, oh, I, I'm not turning very well. Well, if I stood here and turn around to face the building behind me, that was really easy. I didn't have to think about turning. I'm very, very capable of turning. That way, I don't need somebody to tell me how to turn. And yet in the golf swing, we're all told, right, well, resist with this, turn with this, coil this bit. And we get bogged down with information. And, and for me, that... I feel is killing natural golf swings. So my question to you, I'll repeat it again, what do you have to do to enjoy your golf swing? Do you need to be relaxed? Do you need to be kind of, let's say, wearing a polo shirt? Do we need the sun to come out? Does the grass need to have been cut? What sensors are you using to discover this awareness? So one of the greatest pleasures I get is the sound of a perfectly hit golf shot. Um, I'm not actually trying to feel a position within my golf swing. That sound is all I need. Um, and reproducing the sound, generally my golf swing is going to take care of itself. So ask yourself better questions. Um, I've been listening to some fantastic podcasts recently, um, which... Uh, from some great people and maybe in the, um, the description below I'll, I'll note the name of these these people but 
open up your mind don't don't get bogged down with technique uh, what else could you be doing differently could you be um, maybe doing some yoga in the morning to loosen up your body so it becomes less painful um, may, may it be just starting off with a few little shots where you don't even care you're just making the most relaxed swings you've ever made in your life maybe um, it's watching a good golf swing some a swing that you really enjoy and trying to mimic that maybe that that could be the, the way forward for you um, one thing I seriously dislike is um, people golfers been compared to a tour pro I, I think if if you're having that experience I think I'd made make a polite conversation and then run um, these guys are different are different to most of us um, if, if you're 60 plus and you're being compared to Tiger Woods I mean that that for me is just one of the most shocking things that could ever happen to you and, and I think it's a, a person's misunderstanding of the human body and how it's designed to move and once we get over a certain age we can't move the same as people did before. you know when they're younger they've been doing it since they're blooming two or three or four years old they're they're kind of as close to their perfect swing as they can be but we're you know we're getting older and, and don't well whatever you do don't try and put yourself next to a tour pro because they're they're a different kind of breed work with what you have work with your almost limitations sometimes you know if you're suffering with uh, joint issues back issues neck issues you name it then you're never going to be able to swing the same as, as somebody else so you have to work with your own body but if you can keep your muscles loose long and elastic they're going to be far more efficient than short and tight and stiff in the golf swing so ask yourself a question what do you have to do to achieve your best golf swing now go out enjoy swinging the clubs in your golf bag enjoy playing golf don't get upset by a miss it shot we all do it uh, that's just life um, get over it really quickly what do I have to do to hit it right rather than what have I done wrong um, I hope this has raised some awareness um, if you kind of if you want to share this by all means please do so with your friends um, if you need to ask me a question or send me a message just go through my my website juliamellagolfschool.com and please subscribe to my channel and happy golfing thanks